Every corner of Vyotsord region has a beauty and grace, but there is a place in the region that can't be described only calling it a miracle. In these caves, that once had been dwellings and refuge, you can have a little rest and take a breath to be able to fully feel the miracle expecting you in the end of this road. Hundreds of caves are artificially darkening the way. They are creating a play of a shadow for you to be able to tell the light from the darkness when the magnificent monastery is seen from behind the hills. To see that art is born when architecture and nature are in harmony. This is Noravank. It was famous still in the early Middle Ages when the St. Polkos church had been here. Lymph had been emanating from underneath the stage of the church, which had a curing feature. Many thaumaturgies were done and many illnesses were cured with that water. The St. Godabed church is built here in the 9th century. It is situated in the south of the monastery. And the architect Momik has been inventing and creating miracles here since 1331. What they say that at the age of 16, he was the fastest in carving a cross. The work of Momik differed from all other works of the masters in that period, with his depth of their saying unusual solutions. Hardy, at the same time, architectural constructions of ingenious art, living engraved images with figures taken from life, incomparable miniatures. The churches of Noravank are segregated especially with their high reliefs and St. Asvadzadzin Church is segregated with the stairs encased in the wall. The engraved image of Father God is on the window lintel at the entrance of St. Stepanos Nahavakak Church's Hall. The bust of Father God in human figure is in the center with impressive lineaments, majestic beard, large oval eyes and curly hair. The godlike engraved image is unprecedented as in Middle Ages. Father God was depicted in the form of a hand descended from the sky or in the form of light. Cross stones constructed by Momik can be found in the yard which are segregated with embroidery finesse and with originality of traceries. <laughs> 